Just now, his ambient light wasn't working. Do you know what he did? He modified the ambient light himself. What action did he take? He knocked on the back of the trunk. He tapped it twice. <laughs> I don't understand why the ambient light isn't working. Can you take a look at it? Brother, based on your experience, please fix it. Come on, come on. You are awesome. Did you fix it? This reminds me of the old television set we had at home. When the TV wouldn't turn on, we'd give it a tap and then it would start working. It's really a pity. Today, the owner of this Tesla, after installing the automatic door, frequently encounters malfunctions. The manufacturer stopped updating it. I've reached out to several manufacturers, but no luck. I've even contacted Dongjin Group. You can search it up. They're the ones who made this automatic door. Previously, we had a long-standing cooperation with Dongjin. We used their electric foot pedals and electric tailgates, and the quality was always good. However, when it came to automatic doors, because of their smaller market demand and their focus on OEM manufacturing, they've stopped updating them. So I have to tell you, don't install automatic doors anymore. The owner has already come to uninstall them. This here is a component of the entire automatic door system. We've removed all of them and we can reset it. It's just like it was never installed. That's what true non-destructive installation means. If it's a destructive installation, even if you peel off just one wire, once you connect it, you can't reset it. So when it comes to modifications, always remember to go for non-destructive installation. I highly recommend everyone to find a reliable professional. It's not like everyone has to come to me for modifications. There are so many Tesla cars nationwide and I can't modify them all, but you must find someone reliable. Don't just go to different places for each modification. If you have a problem with the door handle and they say the ambient light installation caused it, or if there's an issue with the ambient light and they blame the automatic door installer, wouldn't that be troublesome? It's just a back and forth hassle. If there's no solution, after 10 years of doing modifications, I've seen this kind of thing happen frequently. If a car owner finds us and had the modification done here, it's easy to refer them to me for a solution. 